Well, welcome back. Haggling with a used car salesman used to be the worst part of buying second hand. These days, with so many vehicles sold online, it's scammers you have to be wary of. I've worked so hard for it. An innocent victim, the use which keeps rising in value, and the scam that's driving in the cash. Once I gave my purchase order number, said my full name, they hung up. <laughs> and that's when the alarm bell started going off. Fading are the days of the dealership being the go-to for that trusty and affordable used car. Online sales are thriving, but with the convenience and the cost savings comes the cons. Mericini Laviri was on a path to World Cup and Olympic glory. She left Australia to go into an overseas camp with that dream of playing for Fiji in the Rugby Sevens. Ball still there for Fiji and now it opens up and this time they finish it. But when COVID ended selection trials, Australia came calling and so too did the need for a car to get around. And you found a beauty. Yep, I found a ute, a white Hilux. Um that I thought I was going to have in less than two weeks, I guess, after making a purchase, and it never came. The ute, advertised on Facebook Marketplace, seemingly checked out. The people selling the car spun a convincing tale, a government worker tied up in the army who had to shift bases and needed to get rid of the ute quickly. Oh, and she's moving to New Zealand. Nearly $9,000 later, the game was up. Like, who goes to the extent of making a purchase order saying it's from eBay? Like, everything was thorough. Their emails, contact number. As the scammers were duping Mericini, they were also doing the same to her cousin a few suburbs away. Oh my gosh, we're gonna have you to like, take it back, rah, rah, rah. And then I was like, no, guys. The scammers even armed with multiple stolen identities. Online car sale scams have increased during the pandemic because more people are trying to avoid public transport, used car prices have increased and there's more people looking for a bargain. Joshua Dowling from caradvice.com.au says whenever you venture off-road to online, the risk increases. Used car dealers across Australia are bound by laws in each state, so you do have some legal recourse if something goes wrong. Mericini's been told by police and the bank she won't get the money back. The 28-year-old spends her remaining savings on another car and now her rugby dream is in tatters. Sorry, I've worked so hard for it. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Um, everything, like, it's not ideal for women to play a sport like rugby. It's not ideal for anyone in my family to do what I'm doing. So it means the world. Like, if I can be a positive light to, you know, Pacific Islanders or Fijians in general, then that's, that's like a dream come true for me. Yeah. <laughs> and you're going to make that happen, yeah? 100%. <laughs> Whether it's, you know, raising the money or working extra hard and balancing training, it will happen. Well, some good news. Friends and family have rallied around Mericini, raising $4,000 to help her rugby dream come true. Facebook says it's sorry for what's happened and quickly removes scams from the platform as soon as it becomes aware of them. The full statement is on our website.